Monday morning, President Joe Biden has dropped out of the 2024 presidential race. He is not at the White House. He's in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware, still recovering from COVID. His vice president, who he has endorsed for the nomination, will be holding her first event as the nominee apparent, I guess you could call her, at 11.30 a.m. Eastern. With us now, Wiley Nickel, congressman from the state of North Carolina. I would add the swing state of North Carolina on the set. Welcome. Glad to have you. Uh, you're one of, I guess, you could call it the few, right? Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, Barack Obama, and Wiley Nickel, who have not endorsed Kamala Harris yet. You know, the news was 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 big news for everybody. I think, like most folks in in America, were you surprised? Were just trying to find no, absolutely. I was with my son playing soccer, soccer practice. You know, and uh, the news dropped. So, and and frankly, we'd just seen a few hours before all the, the Biden folks saying he's 100 percent in. So, yeah, that was, was a, that was a, that was a cognitive dissonance, right? Uh, face the nation at you know nine o'clock. Oh, he's not going anywhere. He's the nominee, and then um, that came out. Uh, all right, well, we will breathlessly await your endorsement, the same as people are looking to Barack Obama and Nancy Pelosi. The, the most favorite parlor, parlor game now in D.C. is not anymore, will Joe Biden drop out? It's who's Kamala Harris's running mate. One name that continues to be floated is Roy Cooper, uh, governor of North Carolina, Democratic governor in a red state. Give us your pitch for him. I, I think absolutely. Roy Cooper uh, is at the top of that list for, for Vice President Harris. He would be Donald Trump and J.D. Vance's worst nightmare. Why? And, and, and frankly, Donald Trump can't get elected president if he doesn't win North Carolina. You put Roy Cooper on the ticket, you've got North Carolina in the column for, for, for Vice President Harris. I think that's absolutely the right pick. I'm a huge fan. I, I'm, of course, biased because I'm from North Carolina. Bias is okay. But uh, I, I've seen Governor Cooper in action as a member of the state Senate, now here in Congress, and uh, he's the, the, the kind of governor that uh, would, would literally give nightmares. A, a, a former district, a former uh, Okay, so, so know, fair, fair enough. I, yeah. I get the idea, and I think you make a great point in terms of, you know, somebody like Roy Cooper, somebody like Andy Bashir, uh, somebody like Josh Shapiro, uh, all, all men who have run uh, effectively in either swing or in uh, Trump Trump states. So you think about Kamala Harris, her favorability is at 37 um, percent. The White House had to pull her back from doing any kind of meaningful interviews or, or mass media events because she is unpopular. She's very unpopular with swing voters. She was the border czar, is the border czar. That's been an enormous disaster. She's got the clips out there where she's saying that she uh, wants to ban fracking completely. That doesn't work very well. Um, in Pennsylvania or Ohio. Why shouldn't Andy Bashir or, or Roy Cooper get a better look and a real look and, more importantly, a fair chance to let Democrats, Democratic voters, decide who their nominee will be rather than the, the Washington cabal? Well, I, I, think, I think if we're going to talk about things that, that she's done, we've got to talk about her work for women's rights. She's been an outstanding advocate for women's reproductive health rights, uh, I, I've seen her time and time again speak passionately, you know, from a, 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 a wonderful place on this in terms of making this a big issue. And it uh, is a big issue. It is an enormous issue for about five, or Scott's going to correct me, five to about eight percent of the voters say abortion is their number one issue. The economy, border, and crime are the top three. Um, and she's got a record with the Biden administration, the Biden Harris administration, that Americans. Don't approve of her handling of that by what, 10, 15 points? At least 10, 15. I, I think, though, I think we got to step back. And the big issue today, not, not the issue yesterday or two days ago, is defeating Donald Trump. And you're going to see Democrats united around that, you know, and Trump isn't going to be able to talk about Joe Biden's age anymore. He's going to have to talk about the issues. And when he does that, uh, those polling numbers uh, the change. Boomerang, in a the big boomerang way. of the age issue is just completely upended this race. The Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.